Hi, my name is Rio Bonham. I'm a senior at Oklahoma State University studying biosystems engineering, and this summer I was part of the USDA Circular Economy and Digital Skills, REEU. Today I'd like to share more about my research project over hydrological modeling and more about my experience here in Florida over the summer as a whole. Imagine you have a farm field planted full of crops. Now, we all know that crops need rain, but what happens to that rain after it hits the ground? Obviously, the crops use some of it, and some of it trickles its way through the ground. However, a large amount of it leaves the field in the form of runoff. Eventually, this runoff will find its way to a stream, where it will continue its journey in the water cycle. Oftentimes, producers will apply chemicals to their fields in the form of fertilizers, pesticides, and herbicides in order to further boost yields and ensure that they can provide the food, fuel, and fiber for a growing population. Unfortunately, the runoff that we discussed earlier can sometimes take these chemicals with it, ultimately resulting in pollution of nearby streams. Fortunately, we have figured out that we can reduce this pollution by planting grass or other vegetation in between the field and the stream. This is known as a vegetative filter strip, or VFS. A VFS works by trapping the chemicals before it gets to reach the nearby water body, therefore mitigating the amount of pollution that could come from the field. So now that we know of a tool to help prevent pollution via chemicals and runoff leaving ag fields and nearby streams, how do we implement this? How do we know how wide we should make our filter strip? What happens when it floods? These are all important questions to know, and it can be hard to figure this out through a purely physical sense. That's why my mentor, Dr. Munoz Carpena, developed a model called VFS Mod, and essentially it helps us make decisions in a digital space before implementing these filter strips um, in agricultural production. The project I helped work on over the summer was to test some of the assumptions made in this model. To do this, we used a rain simulator to see what would happen to the system when it was subjected to rainfall, runoff, and other factors. We used hundreds of sensors to collect all sorts of different data metrics, as well as taking water quality samples. We can then take this data and compare it to the data from the model. Comparing these, we can see how well the model did at predicting what would happen to a VFS underneath these conditions. By doing this, we can ensure that VFS mod is a robust and accurate model, and as such can be used as a decision to support tool for producers in the future. But not all of my time this summer was spent in a lab. Through the program, I also got to go on several different field trips and social activities. Between the research skills that I developed and the great experiences that I had, I had an amazing time over the summer here at the University of Florida. This opportunity was incredible, and I highly recommend other undergraduates to seek out similar opportunities in the future. Thanks, and go Gators!